Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the next video tutorial for Ketra, the character from the Netflix series Shira. So in the previous tutorials, we have modeled her hair, her ears, her mask, all sorts of stuff. And now we're going to be focusing on retopologizing her arm, as well as adding some details such as the claws and a couple of other things. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Software I cover include Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. If that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up that software, and let's go ahead and continue working on the 3D model of Katra. Okay, so here she is in her glory. So what I'm going to be using to retopologize her shoulder is Quadra. Now, what we're trying to achieve is a particular edge flow that works really well when you want to rig your character. So the idea is that this edge goes all the way across to her back. This edge also goes all the way to her back. So it goes across. And the tricky part is that this we also keep this edge flow, which goes all the way down her arm. So that is the idea behind this. So let's select our model here and we are going to make this model live. So by making it live means that things are going to attach to it. So there's a little magnet up here. So click on that. And then we're going to go to the modeling toolkit, which you can find up here at the top right. Scroll down and you're going to see Quadra. So I have a whole tutorial in Quadra. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave the link above. Yeah, we just basically create dots. Now notice I can't see where my topology is because I really do want to try to match it. So let's turn on wireframe on shaded here. All right, so now we're ready to start placing dots. So the idea is that we want the edge flow to go from here to basically along here. And it's going to give us dots on our live surface. So we want to make sure that the edge flow from here is going to move on to here. So now that I have my dots, I can go ahead and click on shift and click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. And now we have an edge flow that goes from the front to the uh, shoulder. So now I can go in and place my other dots. Then click, shift, click, shift, click. So we're going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to need my dots. So we have one here, here, here. And again, the edge flow needs to go from this side to the shoulder. And since I have plenty of geometry, I, oops, control Z, if you, any mistakes. And now I have the proper edge flow. It goes like this and then it goes like that. Now, if you're a little worried about this section here, you can always hold down shift and just do a little relax. And at the end, we end up with this really interesting like U-turn right here. Um, let's do that again for the back because we have a similar issue in the back. Now the hair is getting in the way. So let me, uh, go to the selection tool. You'll notice that it turned the quadra into geometry. Uh, let's move the magnet. So now it's not live, select the two of them and let's do an isolate select pink, which is gonna, you know, be really creepy, but at least we can now focus on the back and again, select the body, click on the magnet. Click on the object, click on quad draw, and now we can continue on the back. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create these four dots and the edge flow needs to go here. So shift, 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 and then as well here, shift, shift, and shift and click. There you go. Again, you can hold down sh shift to relax. And now we have the proper topology that goes across. And the nice thing is, is that it does provide enough geometry. Now there could be, there might need some geometry right along here. So if you hold down control, it can make an edge and I'm probably going to have to add another one here, which is fine. Again, hold down shift to kind of help spread it out a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is just make sure that my, my vertices are matching with the other vertices. So same story for this one. I may have to go in and just create an extra edge here. All right, next is the arm. So we want to make a transition from the shoulder to the arm, which is basically just almost like an extrude, but let's go ahead and use Quadra to help us build the arm. So again, hold down shift, make your dots, hold down shift, get the right camera angle to get the right topology that you want. And there we go. So that's the arm. And I just want to make sure the armpit is going to be 
in good shape. So let's add a couple edges here. All right, let's add some points. Can go in here, click over here. Kind of challenging. This is why it's better to, I mean, I follow the reference, but it's always better to model in um, in an A pose or a T pose so that you can make these adjustments fairly easily. Uh, let's make some selections. And now we have the bottom of the arm. And then we can go ahead and make the armpit if it allows us to. It might be a little bit challenging because we're in a really tight quarters. Cool. So I'm not going to need these. So I'm just hovering and deleting. And same for these because I already have them. And let's get out of quad draw and then turn off the magnet. Now we're ready to integrate this into our model. So first we are going to select this one, go to faces and delete the faces that we don't need. So basically the whole shoulder. There it is. And I did add basically an extra edge loop. So there's a couple areas that need extra edge loops. So let's go ahead and shift right click, insert edge right around here. And then another one here. If you're wondering what's going to happen to the body, what I'm going to do is delete it and mirror it to the other side. So I'm not too worried about the left side, her right side, our left. So let's add that topology here. And then what I'm going to do is select this and start grabbing vertices and basically snapping them. Snap. So V, middle mouse, snap. Select another one. V stands for vertex, middle mouse, snap. V, middle mouse, snap. Oop, that one selected the wrong one. So let's try again. So what I'm trying to do is just making sure that these guys have a home to go to. All right, so this one needs an edge as well. So let's insert an edge. Vertex, B middle mouse snap, B middle mouse snap. Be a middle mouse, oops, snap. And actually it looks like I didn't need this one. Control delete because I missed this one. So I already had one. There you go. Cool. Let's get rid of these faces here. Delete, and then I can stop, start snapping the vertices as well. So V snap, V middle mouse snap, and so on and so forth. It may be a little bit tedious, but at least I know that every single vertice has a home and there's not going to be some sort of hole in my model. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks like we still have some faces in here, so let's go ahead and delete them. I'm going to isolate, select this one just to see what's going on. All right, so I'm just cleaning up that mesh. And for this one, I'm going to double click on it, move, hit D, and I'm actually going to, it will. It's a lot easier for me if it was a little bit more of a, a pose. So I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it, her arm just a little bit. And then I can do the same thing for this one. Just kind of rotate it and just kind of help fit. So that gives me more room in the armpit, which it's pretty tight in there. So let's grab this vertex and V middle mouse and snap. It's kind of looking around. It's pretty challenging. There's another one, V, middle mouse, and snap. I might have an extra one. I think that's a floating vertice. V, middle mouse, and snap. And I might have too much mesh, but if, we'll see, because I still have to snap it to the arm. So 
Let's just go ahead and do the hard stuff first. Let's just V middle mouse snap the arm, the armpit, and then I'll do the outside. All right. Okay, that looks okay. Now another method is that you can combine the mesh and then start welding these vertices together. That also works, but I just wanted to make sure everything is in good in a good place so that I can go forward. Now it looks like I might have a couple of triangles here. And to be fair, it's okay to have a triangle as long as well, let's check to see if I have anything missing. And I think I'm going to leave that gap there, but I'll fill hole. All right, cool. So, all right. So now that all my vertices are together, it's time to combine the body. So let's go to mesh, combine, and then we're going to go to vertices, select the vertices, and then go to edit mesh merge. So what that's going to do is merge the vertices that are closest together and basically merge them. So now they're actually combined and attached. But anything that's not that close, for example, this one doesn't, because it's not close enough, then I can just go ahead and do a target weld, grab them and drag them together like that. So hit the number three to see if you see any puckers or anything like that. And it's looking pretty good, except for my giant hole down here at the bottom, not giant, it's a tiny little hole. So let's go ahead and select that. And then let's go to fill hole. So mesh, fill hole. There we go. Cool. So now we basically have topology that goes across and up. Now, if you want to make some tweaks, of course, you're more than welcome to make the edge flow a little bit better. Another method that you can use is go back into quad draw, hold down shift, and you can actually relax it. So that kind of spreads the, ver the geometry around and makes it look a little bit smoother which I personally love this tool. I think it's neat. Just kind of averages things out for you, smooths it out. So it's kind of nice. Again, I'm just holding down shift and relaxing it. All right, let's get out of that tool. Go to object mode, press the number three. Maybe we want to get rid of that and we now have a more proper topology for our character. Cool. All right, her design's really interesting because she's got like large forearms and it's like her elbow is not in the right place. But that's her design, so I'm just, you know, it's one of those things that I'm like, that doesn't look right. But at the same time, it's like, that's the design. So, um, yeah, so you can make some creative choices if you want to. Okay, so if you're worried about that, no problem. Select that. You can always go to soften edge and that will soften the edge. Not that you need it because you can always press the number three. All right, that is how you retopologize the shoulder. So we went over quad draw and we also went over proper topology for the shoulder and so much more. So if you learned a thing or two, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you liked it you like this content and that you want to see more please share these videos if you think uh if you know an artist out there that would like to learn how to create a 3d character that would be amazing and also take a look at academicphoenixplus.com there you can find free 3d models ebooks and so much more also while you're there take a look at my e-courses my e-courses are deep dive into maya uh, including modeling texturing uv mapping and so much more so please purchase an e-course that's another way of supporting me which would be amazing Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating and I will see you next time.